I don't know if you've ever considered this, um, but with Go High Level, they have a functionality built in that allows you to create redirects on domains that you already have set up. Now, I've always been a big fan of systems like Bitly or sh link shorteners that are out there, um, just because they're quick and easy. And Go High Level has not put together a fast way to do this. So, I wanted to give you an idea through this tutorial on how to do that. Now, this is a demo account, and I do have a white label just for context. Um, so, within High Level, you'll notice in your settings, there is a section for URL redirects, right? And of course, right now, we don't have any URL redirects set up. So we wanna make sure that we're at least have a domain set up and connected to your account. If you don't have a domain already connected to your account, please follow those steps first. So we wanna make sure we have a domain. Now, this is a big thing. You want to have a form of input. For me, I have a very old uh, Jotform account that I absolutely love and I've had it forever. Um, so I'm gonna use Jotform as the method of putting stuff in. Really quick, really fast, good delivery. You can use any tool that you like. All we really wanna do is take the information from a form fill to uh, an API processor, and we're gonna use Pabli for that, all the way to getting it within Go High Level. So, let's start with the form. Now, follow this in context. In JotForm for me, I'm gonna create a handful of different fields that I wanna use. So the first thing is gonna be my destination URL. This is gonna be where it's gotta go. Now, if you're shortening a link to google.com slash this is my thing, Great, that's where you're gonna put it. The next thing you wanna do is you're gonna have your short path or you're gonna be your permalink, whatever you wanna call it. This is the information that's after the slash. So for me, I made sure I put a little, um, like a little notation of what it is. So I, I put as a sublink here. So this is all, this is gonna be all of the domain. And then we wanna only be typing in the link itself. Um, you could do a couple of ways. You don't have to validate it. You don't want to make it super long, you know, stuff like that. And you want to make sure that it's named, right? Same with the destination. Uh, what I'm going to recommend you do is under your options, you're going to want to make sure you validate that it's an, a good URL. Inside Go High Levels docs, it needs to be a perfect URL from HTTPS, www.website slash the thing. So make sure it validates from here. Next thing, um, I have it pre-filled in and which domains you're gonna use. So for me, these are gonna be what are already set up. So just to give you an idea of what that's gonna look like, on my actual Go High Level account, I have a variety of domains typed in. So in this case, I have Craig Morrell, I have CRM, I have a variety of them all, all placed in. Um, but the only ones that I wanna have them associate to, I have in a dropdown. So for this, I put them in specifically so that this is all I can select. And of course, I can come back in here if I wanna add more to it, just so I can select more. No problem, they're already validated within, within GHL, okay? Um, you may also wanna set yourself a default value within the field, again, makes it easy. And then for me, I like using what does this link do so that I can remind myself, call it an internal, internal thing. And now, just because I like to nerd out, I'm gonna actually add other functionalities for push to directory and blah, 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 verification, yada, yada, right? So, let me show you what happens on the back end. Now, inside Pabli, we're doing one thing, so we're receiving the response, right? So we're gonna take the response, and you know what? Let's, I'm gonna do one live with us right now, just so you can kind of see how it all so we'll do a fresh one. So from here, I'm just gonna to go to publish. I'm gonna open up my new tab, whatever. So my destination, I have a new one uh, from a good friend of mine, Jacob Radcliffe. Uh, if you don't know him, he's Curated Apps. Uh, he has a really awesome tool. So we're just gonna call it Curated. This is gonna be the link. We're gonna call it Curated. And then which domain? I'm gonna put it on Craig Morrell, why not? Uh, this link helps uh, GHL developers uh, connect apps to third-party tools, um, third-party tools like Pabli, uh, Pabli, Make, and Zapier. Okay, cool. And I'm not gonna push it to the web directory, don't care. 
I'm gonna verify I'm human just to make sure you know I'm a person. Great. What's jumping? I don't I don't know. Why are we jumping? All right, cool. These are jumping. Everyone in the club is jumping. Um, and then I submit. Now, in my form response at the end of this, let me just show you what this what this is. Right. So this is essentially gonna be my link. Um, but here I have in my thank you so my settings, and then in my thank you page specifically, I'm literally just using these paths. This does not work until it processes, but the processing takes, God, 10 seconds, right? So not that big of a deal, but this is what it's gonna be. So if I fire it off and, I'm, and by the time I'm copying it on my phone and I'm ready to kick it out there, it's probably already. Um, so that's where this comes from, okay? This is gonna be the link. So if I wanted to, I can copy this, cool. Inside job form, let's get the most recent. My response is one day ago. I just made this yesterday. So I know it works. So here's the most recent one. So I'm gonna go response D, here's my form, okay? So uh, I got my webhook info, blah, blah, blah. I have, uh, cool, here's my short, here's my URL, here's my destination, etc. cool. Now, here's where I'm gonna highlight my buddy Jacob. Um, so this really awesome little tool, curated admin uh, v2. Um, let me show you what that looks like. So if we go over here and this is, this is actually his thing, but he does these all the time. So I'm going to use my own link. Check that out. Hold on. Should load forward, 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 right? Yay, nay. There we go. Perfect. So here's this really cool little app. Uh, you come in here, you buy it. It's amazing, right? What happens is, is now you have a whole variety of tools. I like, I like Pabbly, but for this, uh, you know, well, I'm going to use Pabbly, but you can use the other ones. We come inside here, and what I like to do is get my OAuth access token. There's a variety of things you can do, but this one specifically, I like to get my access token and make sure it all comes out. So I'm going to hit test and receive. And then it's going to give me all this mess of data. All right, cool. All the stuff I need, whatever, right? Awesome. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, I like to do this specifically within API just because sometimes it doesn't show up. Um, inside the API docs, you can go over to help.gohighlevel.com and you're gonna to wanna to go to API 2.0 docs. This will open up the stoplight. And then if you ever need to figure out what some of these things are at the very top, this one, you can actually type domains and it should give you a couple different options, right? Domain, okay, so we have create redirect right? So this is the information you're going to want to be able to use. So just to give you a general high view of this, a post is basically the action. And then this is, and then this URL is where the action is going to be. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to go into back over to here, and then we're going to create what's called an API Pabli. So if you want to just go here, click on API, click on the thing, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then we're gonna to want to execute an API request and it's gonna be a post. So if you remember, we wanna have a post. There's other forms of this, so don't, don't get it wrong. Okay, so we're gonna select a post. We're gonna paste in the link. Now, here's a silly thing that I didn't know until I knew. When you copy this URL, you'll notice that there's some bolding here, right? Cool, good for visuals, terrible for pasting. Right here, there's a space. So if you paste it as is, it's gonna break. Let me just highlight that, it's gonna break. So make sure you don't have any extra spaces or anything outside of it. Great, next, JSON, bearer token, and then in this field down below, you're gonna basically grab your token from the curated apps portion of it. Um, let's do this and I'm gonna go all the way. I'm just gonna delete it. No big deal. I'm gonna go into my curated apps, grab my access token and cool. Awesome. Important things. Next, you're gonna go back over to here and you're gonna see a section called headers. Okay. Your authorization tokens all set. The next thing you have to figure out is your version. So I like to copy things exactly. So I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna paste it in, right? So version and you're gonna to wanna to put this date. You're gonna write it in as static uh, 2021 07 28. Just paste it in, okay? So we have that there. Next, you're gonna have your location ID. This is easy to find. Uh, if you go into your Go High Level account, doesn't matter what you're in, 
in your top bar, you're gonna see location, and then basically it's this number here. You can also go into your settings and you can find that information, but this is actually what it's looking for. So whatever location you wanna start running these in or setting them up or however, do it that way. Paste it in, don't have to overcomplicate it. That could be a static thing too, don't need to query it. Next thing, your domains. So, oh, your label under set parameters, you're gonna to wanna to be location uppercase I D. This is where paying attention to little tiny nuances make or break your app. So you'll notice that there's a capital I and then you'll notice everything else is lowercase. So pay attention to that, okay? Very important, they're all explicit. So you're gonna have your location ID in your body. You're gonna paste that in. You're gonna have your value for your location ID that we just got out of go high level. Next, domain. What I recommend you do, set up all the pieces. Domain, path, target, action, okay? So create domain, click the little plus, add it in, path, target, action. Okay, next thing. So now for here, what we're gonna wanna do, and I'll just delete this out. So under our domain, we're gonna use the information that's coming in from our jot form, and we're gonna wanna use our predefined domain. So if in your form, you decide you wanna use a different one, let's say you, know, you wanna use a different domain, it's already in there. It's gonna know how to set it up. So you can feel free to make it a little bit more dynamic in that regard, just to keep your own sanity, right? Next thing, your path. This is what you typed in. Now, you can paste it as is, um, but what I recommend you do, because this is a parameter within um, their redirects, that you need to have the slash in there. So even if you create a new one, you have to, by default, type it in. So if you did, let's just say, for example, I'm gonna do this, and then say, this app stinks, right? Not gonna let me, needs the slash, okay? But we don't wanna to remember to have to type this in every single time on our form. So let's just program it in. We'll just make it simple, right? So inside here, our path, we're gonna go slash, and then we're gonna include our pathway. So in this case, whoop, get out of here. So we're gonna slow this down and we want we want to use curated apps, okay? So now it's gonna automatically insert slash and then my, my permalink. Next thing, target. This is gonna be the URL that we select that we had in our form. This was our very first question. So it should be easy to find. Um, just remember, you can always just look this up. So there's that. And then our action. So inside here, they have a variety allowed funnel, website, URL, or all. Honestly, for this purpose, just make it URL so it forwards over to the appropriate place. Don't mess around with it. Make your life easier, okay? So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna save and send request, and what did we break? Let's see. So curated apps already exist. Oh, it already ran. That makes sense, because I have this active, but normally, this would throw out a 200 response. So for example, if, let me, don't do this. I'm just gonna do this for the sake of, uh, of example. I'm gonna put a number one in, or number two in here, number one, whatever. I'm gonna add a one in here, and I'm just gonna rerun it. Um, 400, if you're not familiar with the terms, means no good, it didn't work. But a 200, or a 200 variation of that means it was successful. So if you hit save, send request, perfect. All this information got popped in there. Um, we didn't get anything back, which is perfect. So this all populated. Now, if I go back to my redirects, and I'm gonna close this out, I'm gonna do a quick refresh Rooney. I should see a curated apps one, probably in the most recent one. So yeah, so here's the first one I ran on a test because I was running it with you guys, and now I have a curated apps one. So now if I go to that link, it'll certainly work. If you look at the contents of it, you click edit, you'll see that it's all there, where it's going, blah, blah, blah. Super perfect. So from there, you are more than welcome to run it from here. Hit save, good to go. For me personally, um, because I like confirmations and I like nerding it out a little bit, I also have it going into a spreadsheet. So I have a list of all those things. I can then take that information and organize it and kind of keep track of it in a little bit better way. You do whatever you want to do to kind of make yourself a little bit more organized. I think that will leave you some sanity. Uh, and then I send myself a confirmation text message to just let myself know, hey, 
this link is uh, this link is all set. So um, very simple, very straightforward, and uh, it just works for me. That's what I like to do. So anyway, that's uh, that's the whole process. Great way to create uh, short links for your business in a really easy to use fashion. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to show this on camera, but I'll give it a quick try. And uh, let's see if it if it pulls up. Uh, but yeah, from my from my phone, I can now just create links on the fly, get them sent out, and uh, boom, we have a link. If this was helpful, uh, inside the description, I have a bunch of links. Obviously, I just made a short link for my good friend Jacob over at Curated Connector. Uh, there's gonna be a link for that. There's also gonna be a link for Pabli. If you don't know what Pabli is, Pabli offers a lifetime deal to run automation. So if you're paying for Zapier, you're paying for Make, um, all those different things. I'm gonna include one for Go High Level too because I love GHL. Um, but if you have not heard of Pabli, it's amazing. Click on it, um, get their lifetime deal. If you don't wanna pay for the lifetime deal, I totally get it, but honestly, it's uh, it pays for itself in about two years, especially if you're a, a Zapier or a Make customer, but um, that's how it all works. Uh, if you click those links, it absolutely supports me, and I really appreciate all your help. Uh, if you need anything, feel free to leave a comment, and I will uh, do the best I can to get you there. Thank you so much.